Good morning, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. YouTubers from all over the world. As you can see, we got some cannons installed. With the help of our little robot hand. And the job foreman over there. He'll be taking more activities on as we progress through this. So this morning we're going to work on lassoing up those cannons to look like these. And of course, I mentioned in my last video, comments, that we had a debacle. You can see how the back end of that cannon frame is wider than the front end. And uh, when I went to put them together, we did them backwards. And I tried taking one apart. And this laser cut walnut was glued on there so good I was going to tear it up trying to change it to where the cannon sticks out in the front is the narrow part and in the back is the wide part and I assembled them the opposite of that which caused the problem because one of the eye bolts to hold the cannon from going over to the edge too far ended up being on the wrong end the way we assembled this. So I just tied a block onto the axle in the back instead because trying to disassemble these to change that base piece in there was glued onto those sidewalls so hard that I was tearing the sidewalls up trying to get it apart so I didn't have I had all four of them like that so I didn't want to have to tear them up just for the sake of that so it's really hard to notice that they're wrong other than the fact that block is tied to the axle instead of the frame but it still looks pretty good even though that base piece is in there wrong so we had to drill into the cannon at the back there with a one millimeter drill bit to get that eye bolt in. And then we used the 0.5 millimeter drill bit to put all the other eye bolts into the walnut. And then we used the 0.5 millimeter drill bit to put all those eye bolts in the wall of the ship and on that floor and everything. And then I use this to create a simple granny knot around this first lip here and then take up the slack <clears throat> on these piles of rope and then another dab of super glue to hold them as a group and then pull it off of this rubber thing to create those <clears throat> loops of rope laying on the deck so that worked out pretty good we'll be doing that as we finish these other two cannons here and I googled the way these ropes are on <clears throat> on the internet to get a better idea of where everything goes because the, the drawings in the photographs 
as you can see are really hard to tell what's going where we know that big rope goes through the eye bolt on the cannon and a couple of the eye bolts on the frame but you can't see where it goes after that so <clears throat> these other ropes are what's creating those little loops laying on the deck going through the blocks so I made a little rough drawing to help me uh, get this rigging for each cannon look better and that's sort of what we duplicated over here I just spread out the big ropes I think it looks better that way and let the little ones lay next to the blocks so we got to do that to here for these two cannons today and I'm going to be using the vise so the first step in this process is tying on a block And I'm using a sewing needle to go through the hole where the rope is when the block is functioning as a pulley. I cut off a generous piece of this uh, 0 0.15 millimeters, probably a little bigger than that, but. So what I'm going to do is just do a granny knot here, right in the middle of that short piece of thread we got. <clears throat> and I want this knot to pull tight opposite end of where that needle is going through the hole. got to get that rope to stay on the block in that groove they got cut in there I don't know what I did with my tweezers here like that and <clears throat> this is 75% polyester and 25% cotton. It did not come with the kit. The ropes that come with the kit are all cotton and real fuzzy and they're not very strong. In other words, if I pull hard on that point to tighten that knot up, the stuff that comes in the kit will break and this stuff looks a lot cleaner than that fuzzy stuff I will be using the fuzzy stuff in a lot of places but when I'm doing stuff like this I don't like using it so this block needs to be tied to an eye bolt that we can put into the wall of the ship and then we'll tie a tan rope of this color here the same kind of thread polyester and cotton we'll tie the tan rope to go through the blocks in its normal fashion so we put this eye bolt in the vise Make sure you can see what I'm doing. And I do a regular knot here and then I 
wasn't supposed to come off of that, but it did. Then I'll loop it through the eye bolt again. After I get the first knot started. And the only reason I'm going through here twice is to create a little more rope on the fixture effect. So I just pulled one of them tails through the eye bolt a second time. And now I'm going to tie another couple granny knots. And you can do a clove hitch here, that works too. They're just a little harder to tie with this thread. <clears throat> so that gives me a little more beefy look with the ropes going through the eye bolt twice. Cut these tails off. Just a little spit of glue. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So we've got to do this three times. So I'm going to use the jig here. hold my cannon for me and I'm taking about oh probably two foot of rope here one end is going to be tied off on this eye bolt That'll be the beginning point of our pulley action for the block. And now we can just pick a pulley. We can do this one in the back first, I guess. So this loop would lay on the deck. So we go through that pulley. Come back here. So this one is going to be one of the ones on the side because the one in the back I have to start the rope on that shaft come out and go through this pulley and through that pulley and then leave the loop out here but these other ones let me check I might be wrong yeah the other ones start on the eye bolt that we've got in the vise will be the one away from the probably better to try to turn that around This stuff threads pretty easy. If you're not shaking.
So later on, this will get rolled up in a loop and glued down on the deck. So that's one of them. And we'll repeat that process here and then we'll do the opposite on the rear. Okay, so we got all the rigging on the cannons. We used our little five millimeter drill bit. Drill some holes over there in the wall. And now we gotta jam them eye bolts into the holes. Some of them are really tough. That walnut. And I cut these eye bolts off at a little bit of an angle with the cutters. <clears throat> now that's a fail. Get bent. Bent really bad. And we get her straightened back out. sort of upside down in that when we roll it over 360 degrees try this again <clears throat> there so block over too. Yeah, like that. And this one over here. It's got to be rolled over. I'll wait until we get the other ropes done on this first. those out of the way we'll make a little loop in a minute that gets the cannon up to the wall now we got these two here to do and they're gonna go over there in the wall see if we can get that in I to get a good grip on that pin where I'm not crushing the rope and I'm not on the part where the eye is open at <clears throat> boy that one just rolled right over so Straighten it back up. It's 
See if I can open that hole up a little bit. Got a hole on the bottom and the top because we're going to have one. We're going to have a second eye bolt in that column for the other cannon. Get a good grip on that thing. Yeah, went right in that time. So it does pay to open the hole up a little bit. made these two eye bolts up with this big rope I left one side long threaded it through the cannon and everything and used the counterweight to hold that up against the wall and then I used my uh, sort of like a hemostat tweezers to grab this rope on this side where it was in the right length for tying the knot on the eye bolt And then with that clamped on there, move the whole cannon away from the ship and put it down on the table and tied that knot in the spot that it needed to be perfect. So that slid right in there. <coughs> so now we need to do an eye bolt right here next to the grating. Make sure that pulley's facing the right way. Now we can pull it in two different directions based on what rope you pull on. And then after we get these little loops made up, we'll glue the cannon down on the deck with some super glue. So this one needs to rotate. How do I grab it to make it rotate? Oh, the rope's in the way. Yeah, flipped right back where it was. 
so is that a problem? Not really. So let's just do our loop. And that loop is going to set down on the deck over here. So we'll make this go underneath the big rope before we make our loop. So the loop will lay on the deck. So what I'm going to do is guesstimate, I think what I did the other day for the cannons on this side is I cut the rope just past the edge of the ship. And that should be enough to make the loop. Now that we've got everything threaded and close to where it's supposed to be, then we take our little tool here and we're going to start with a granny knot. And get that on the tool. Make sure it's on that last little rib only. And pull that little snug. I want more slack on. I want less tail and more slack there. So before I roll it, I'm going to put a little dab right there. And I'm going to roll it up. Making it go on both sides of that tail as we'll leave the tail sticking out look more natural and then somewhere right around here try to get that rope wet And then while that is wet on that side, we're going to grab it over on this side and try to pull it off of this little rubber before that glue sticks to the rubber. It's already wanting to stick to it there. Well, it worked the first few times. Now it's not working. Get it off of there. There we go. Yeah, it really stuck to the rubber good. I guess the glue from the other time. Now it's stuck to my finger. So oh, there's our neat little rope. And we'll just put a little dab of super glue on that and glue it down over here somewhere. But I'll wait till I get the other cannon in on this side because I may need to work in this area and I don't want that in the way. So that's how we make the loop. I might need to take some acetone and clean this up before I do the next one.
that way it'll come off easy that will do that with all three of these tails and then we'll glue the cannon wheels down to the floor in the spot we think we want it and that's how we do it Okay, so we've got the last big cannon mounted. The ropes are glued down. Oh, that one's not. I'm gonna put some glue on that one. Cannon's glued down. So that's how they came out. Sixty nine, seventy. I'm not going to put all these baling pins in now because they'll fall out. Wait till I start rigging the ship. So, 71, we'll work on the anchor next. I think we got to do some brass pieces on there. Fashion them. And then we'll get them rigged up to that divot. And then the main anchor rope will go up and around the spindle. And then the crank. I think where that rope goes in at, I'm going to have to open that hole up. Come out here above the deck. Because right now it is below the deck. And then that will wrap around this. And then I think there's a special pewter piece that goes over here where that tail of the rope goes down into the hull of the ship. I'm just leaving those off for now until we get the cannons are done so they won't be in my way. And all these are done. I think I'm going to add one more eye bolt right there just for a uh, more places to tie on from the mizzen mast but the cannons came out good other end the debacle about the base in there you don't tell anybody I won't my professional shipbuilders would say oh we got to rebuild that yeah and I tried to get it apart but it was going to bust that that's some pretty small wood right there along the edge and it's glued onto that base piece with a Gorilla Glue. I try to break that loose, it's going to bust that sidewall piece. And I'm going to have four of them that I'll be doing major heart surgery on. I don't think it's worth it, so we're just leaving them like they are. We learn from our mistakes, so on the next cannon assembly on another ship we'll do those a little different the supervisor says it's gonna pass inspection because all that matters is that a cannonball comes out there and hits something Okay, so we got one anchor made up. I 
main ropes going up through that hole we did a couple weeks ago. It's coming out on the deck there. Running over and wrapping around the anchor hoist. I still got to paint this thing black here. And then we installed those bearings on the deck for the rope to slide through. And we made a coil of the extra rope. And we got that down there below the second floor sitting on the third floor it's just coiled up sitting there right now with a little dab of glue on one side I'm gonna place it somewhere later on after we get the other anchor rope in where it looks like it's supposed to be stored there But that was one of the anchors done. I did have to go into that grommet. There's a grommet on the first floor here. And it was too small of a hole for that rope. So I had to go in there with a 1.7, 1.8, almost 2 millimeters. A drill bit and get all the way down and drill that out. I haven't done the second one yet, but but that's what the first anchor looks like. According to the prints, it just hooks on that one stanchion there. Like it shows there. Hooked on the second stanchion behind the cannon. So, it did come out okay. I did see I need to do another bailing pin rack up here, a long one, before I continue. I just noticed that when I was looking at the anchor plans here. There was another bailing pin rack I missed. So that's our anchor plan. drawing that we sort of followed I just noticed that little brass thing on there I gotta figure out what that is that's probably another tie thing for fastening it to the ship while they're in on sailing so I'll have to look at that The second anchor is over here. I just finished building the uh, anchor pieces from the drawing they gave us. We had to open up the uh, blocks after we glued them together and then make a bunch of brass straps to wrap around there. So we got this one ready for the rope and there's the other block that we're going to put on it like this one here and we made this little hook that's part of the block and some of this 
one, I think this is one millimeter, 1.5 millimeter. So it's a hook so they can hook it once they get it close to the edge of the ship and then uh, tie it off. But there's another brass thing that goes on here, I think, maybe two of them. I'm have to figure that out. But there's anchor number one, almost done. And a little dab of super glue over here and over here and over here to keep that rope straight and keep it on the reel. As I stretch this out and let it hang overnight with a counterweight on the bottom of it, but it's still got a lot of kinkiness to it, so. I have to force it to force it to be straight and look good. And the cannons are done. So Super glue on the end of the rope. <clears throat> Smush it and then cut some of it with the scissors at an angle. <clears throat> Make it small on the end so I could get it through there. So now we need to form this hook. To go on that block. See that shape there, and then I'm going to kick it back below the top of the hook. And this will be for the base of the block. And then I got to bring the top of this around. To fit the height of that block. And somewhere around there we want to bend it. And then we got to count for the thickness of the block. way out here somewhere a little too much so I'll just keep adjusting until I get that because the actual bend itself is going to take up some of that distance we need to trap that block. Now we can eyeball. So that's really close, but we want to close that up some. And then straighten it out on this side. And then we got to kick the bottom over to trap the block on the bottom. And then cut that off. That's not enough. So 
somewhere around there. We'll close the bottom up after we cut this. <coughs> we want to cut it where that tail isn't going to interfere with the bottom of the block when we close it up around the block. Something like that. Now, I'm going to open it up enough to get the block in there. want the ropes at the bottom, or the top rather, top from the hook. Now we got to try to squeeze that bottom on both sides. Get this in the middle. There's too much on the top here, so we got to make that tighter. that the first one I did I had to do it twice because I messed up the first time If I grab it like that and then squeeze it with a different pair of pliers, like this, I dropped it, of course. Hey, just keep working with that copper, brass. You get that shape like you want it. So. That's good enough. <clears throat> so as they're bringing the anchor up, they can lower this block and tackle. And hook it in that loop there. And then bring the anchor up the rest of the way and hook it on the ship. So now... 
The rope is on that. We got to glue up this other end so we can fish it through. So I get a little bit on here, not too much, because that rope soaks it up. And then I twist it in the same direction that the rope is wound. Try not to let that glue stick to my finger. And that should be stiff enough we can feed through everything. Now I'm going to set the camera up on the other tripod. Get this ship turned around so we can fish that rope through. So we got our little handy dandy threader. See how good that works. Go over the top. Hoisting up the anchor. I gotta leave myself a little bit of slack so I can glue this down to the base over here. Now we wanna fish this rope around here about six or seven times. Let's see here. Yep, we got a knot started there. We don't want that. This has got to be on the other side. We don't want to rip anything off the deck with this new anchor rope. Need a little bit more slack on that. There we go. Because when this anchor is up, somewhere about there. That'll hold that from coming loose. 
I'm going to continue to wrap this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Make sure that's fairly neat. And now, before this is going to go all the way down below that second deck, I know I got to drill that grommet out down there as a brass grommet below that second, below the top deck on the second deck. So, right there is a brass grommet. And we got to drill through that because it's too small for this rope. And it's pretty long, probably about eight millimeters long. expect that it came off of the deck so now without breaking something I got to get my long pliers because it's stuck on the end of the drill bit and it came off of the deck the last two turns probably Put it in reverse, get a good grip on it, pull it out, there we go. That was already glued into the deck, so now it's big enough to fit the rope. Maybe we can cheat here. some of that shavings out of the way. So what I mean by cheat is get the rope over here and thread it through this and then we'll stick this in the hole. Because this is the hardest part of threading. is to get it to go through that grommet. I'll reach in there and grab the rope. That way. Now we can use tweezers. After we get the rope in there, we'll some glue on it. Glue that grommet back in the hole. Hmm. That hole is 
pretty snug. All right, we got it started. <clears throat> got it started in the hole before we push it down all the way. There we go. So, now we just want to coil this up so it looks like the mateys below deck did their job of keeping that rope neat. So what I'm going to do is use this little sanding drum to start the coil, cross it over, put a little dab of glue right there, hopefully that will hold that crossover on there. And we'll put another little dab of glue on that same spot just a little bit on the other ropes. And we'll let that set there for a minute. And then we got to get the Hmm, probably not enough glue on there, is it? Oops. Get the rope off of the drum now without making that glue spot come loose. There we go. So now we got a nice little coil of rope. That'll sit somewhere down here. We'll glue it down after we get this stuff up here on the deck done. So this one was holding the slack. I want to glue that down now because we got to do the little block and tackle over here off of this divot. So we want to make this a permanent length here by gluing that down on the deck over there. 
so I'm going to put a little dab of glue down here on the deck. Hopefully it's in the right spot. And it doesn't stick to my finger. Let that sit there for a minute. And we'll glue this side down a little bit later here. So now, <clears throat> get some of this tan thread here. liberal amount <clears throat> and I think yesterday when I did the other one I started here and tied this off And to make it look beefy again, I'm doing a, a double wrap on that de on that uh, eye bolt. I almost need two pairs of tweezers again. Pull that tight and do another. It's just so awkward working with two pairs of tweezers. There's a nice beefy knot. And I want that knot to face down with the leading edge. Cut this tail off. Get super glue on your scissors. They won't cut very good if you don't keep them clean. So now, we're going to go down, we'll hook this, see that naturally wants to hang like that, so we'll hook this in the front. Maybe from the other side. We go down through the block. We're going to come up on the inside one so the outside one will be last and it'll tie off on this stanchion. So we we'll go up on the back side or the front side. Let's do the front side. I can't see under there, so 
from shooting in the dark. <clears throat> and go down to the block again. I see a little problem though. <clears throat> My ropes will be crossing each other. So really I need to make it go through this other hole on the block first. I'm gonna pull that out. Try to get it where it goes through that hole instead. And come up on the front. Go back down. Yeah. So now when we go through the block the second time, will be coming up through the front on this other pulley or shiv and then tying off on here So here again we got ropes crossing. And that's because we went through the front hole instead of the back hole on that divot. So if we go through the back hole and come up. Yeah, I think that'll be better. So until you actually fish everything, it's hard to plan where those ropes should be. Now what's going on here? Oh, this is underneath it. And now come up through the front hole and tie it off. Then that way the block and tackle doesn't have ropes crossing over each other. Go around twice, and then this is the standard knot on a baling pin or um, one of these deck tie downs. I don't remember what they call those, but you want to wrap it around the a couple times and then turn your 
you know, get a loop and turn it upside down. And then pull that tight. And you do that like two or three times. Make a loop, turn it upside down, put that loop over the stanchion, and pull it tight. And those knots are real easy to untie for the sailor as opposed to a granny knot or a clove hitch or other standard knots that aren't easy to untie. So with this, before we glue, it, we'll make a little, see how I made a little loop in that tail. I guess we could make a different shape loop where it would hang on here, but um, for access purposes of the sailor, I'm going to do a deck loop and leave it laying on the deck and we'll glue it down on the deck. So for that, we're going to use our little suction tool, which has got a place to make the wrap and keep it in the shape we want, and then we can grab it with tweezers and pull it off here after we've put a little glue on it. So I'm just guesstimating the length in order to create that then cut it, <clears throat> cut the excess off. We do a little granny knot here. And then get this in there. Pull that tight. Well, pull it snug, not tight. We'll crush that little rubber thing if we pull it tight. And each time I go around, I try to alternate which side of this tail I'm on. That helps keep the tail trapped in that loose knot. And then try to put your glue on it in the same spot where the tail comes out at. And then open the glue with one hand. And now take the tweezers and grab it on the opposite side of where the glue is and pull it off. So there we've created a nice neat wrap of rope that we can put somewhere that looks realistic on the deck. So Anchor number two is done. Well, we still got to look at that. See, it didn't show anything here, <clears throat> but I definitely can see. I guess that's tan rope, 352. Hmm. 352 anchor baling rock cotton thread so they're just taking more of this tan rope and securing the anchor in two spots which that's just a matter of tying some tying some rope lots but the hard part of the anchor 
install is done. Yeah, there's that rope again. Trapping it. So once we do that, we're going to start with step 74 and assemble the steering wheel. Step 74. Your steering wheel here. All these pulleys above the deck with ropes on them that tie off to the rudder arm, which I don't have a rudder arm on there. I just have the shaft of the rudder coming up through the deck. We got to figure out that arm 364, get that installed, and find all these pieces and make that steering wheel up yeah 364 is the rudder arm oh no it looks like it's drilled through yeah the rudder arm is drilled through the top of the rudder stem with the brass ring on there we got to install so this is going to be a little fun project here now so let me go find all those pieces and see if we can get that going all right so we're doing the steering wheel for the rudder and the plans show a, a bushing and either I already used the bushing something else or it's not in the kit so I found this one some of my plumbing stuff and cut it off to fit the right distance so that is where the rope is going to wrap around to tie to the arm on the rudder and this shaft material that fits through the steering wheel and the brackets on the end is too small for this bushing so I took a cannon from the San Juan that we built last year and I cut it off and then I drilled it out to fit this shaft and use that as a spacer in there to keep this bushing that the ropes wrap around in the middle. So I think that'll work. And I already got this shaft cut to the right distance. So now we just gotta glue it all together. I don't want to put super glue on the middle until we get this thing lined up right so I'm trying to figure out how I want to line it up before I glue it up and I think if I clamp it with it sitting on the table after we glue it
that should work as long as it sits flat on the table and it's fairly square and not cocked so I have to watch that carefully so these little decorative pieces will go on the end of the shaft after the glue dries so I guess we just get brave here and put a bunch of glue in there stick this on stick that on before the glue dries I think we're sticking out enough on the other end. So let's put some glue on this end. Set that there. may not need to clamp it as long as it looks square I think that'll work and after that dries glue these little decorations on the end of the shaft that'll take care of the steering wheel assembly minus all the rigging that goes with it so I had to paint because all these pieces except that bushing that we found in our plumbing supply were pewter silver looking So I had to paint the end pieces black and I had to paint the steering wheel gold. Let that dry and we'll start making up some blocks all for the uh, steering. So we got several blocks, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. We got to make up with eye bolts on them and get those installed. Yeah, the steering wheel is going to go right in here between that. cabinet goes really close to those pin racks which are going to go on each side of the rear mast so that thing's going to barely fit in there And we got to get all them blocks and everything made up and, and mounted in the deck. And then we got to find this arm. See if we got to make that or what. 
See here we're on step 74 and the plans are showing between photos 48 and 75 just to figure it out on your own. So we got to figure out that rudder arm. It might be on the next page here so I'm going to look at that next and, and then we'll start making up some blocks because we got two made up here but there I've got double holes in them and I'm sure we're only going to need single hole blocks so I'm going to make up ten more single hole blocks instead of those and I glued on the last two <clears throat> racks for the bolo baling pins I keep calling them bolo pins but I added a piece of structure underneath <clears throat> that sticks out between the railing and the bottom of this pin rack to give it more strength because there's going to be a lot of ropes pulling on it after we put the baling pins in there. And that's the last two of those done. So, time to make up some single hole blocks. Let this dry. Before we install it. on the wooden model ship. Okay, we got the steering wheel in there and the tiller installed. <clears throat> We ground the end of it down and made a shaft so we could drill a hole into that rudder arm. So now I'm threading the steering cable. And I want to put a little bit of super glue on the end of that so it's nice and stiff. We got to shove it through like five pulleys here. So this one is going to come down and go through. Yeah, don't tie a knot with it. You can see we got the other side threaded so it goes through there, there, up here, and then ties off. So we got to do the same on this side. through here up to the tiller block and pulley pulley and block and tackle what do you call it it's a block for sure but And then the last block go through and come out the top. And 
and then I'm going to tie this off so we don't need four miles of rope there. I keep bumping the camera because it's literally like four inches away from the and I'm using my left hand with tweezers that's really awkward too so get that knot to pull tight before I some of these other ropes tight here mm. yeah, I shouldn't have pulled on this end until I had all that slack out of there. See if I can open that knot up. There we go. I'm pulling that in. That's tight enough, eh? back a little bit A little dab of super glue on that knot. And now we got the steering. All hooked up. I think I'm going to leave these guys off of here. Until we actually get that. mezzanine mass mounted so there's room for it to fit but you see all those blocks there it's going to be rough trying to thread any of that if this stuff is in the way so for now I'm going to leave it off we might pre-thread some of these. I don't know what we're going to do yet. We'll have to wait till we get there. But the tiller to the rudder is roped off to the steering wheel. So that takes care of all that detail. around the tiller and the steering wheel. Now I still got to glue these two on. I forgot that. But that'll be easy enough. So, pretty good progress this week. We made it past the Tiller there, and now we get to build the lifeboat. And there's a whole bunch of pictures for the lifeboat. Where to install it? And we got to put planking on it and everything. Oh my gosh! There's three pages, four, five pages for the lifeboat. 
So encouraging progress, but now one, two, three, four, five, there's only five pages left in the book, six pages left in the book after the lifeboat for all the sails and all the rigging and all the masts and all the yard arms and the lanyards and the rat lines and everything's just a few pages of pictures so we got a lot of referral I got three other prints that show all the masts and all the yard arms there's a partial print picture of some there that go on the bow stem or the bow spirit there'll be a couple sails hanging off of that so there's no I know there's two other prints if not more of just masts and the yard arms and all the blocks that go on them before we do the rigging but the next step is the lifeboat for next week so it looks like it's going to be pretty pretty in depth it's almost like making a mini miniature wooden model ship all those frames and uh, beams and everything and the rail and then planking it Thanks for watching. The wooden model ship.